in this video, I want to ask, answer a big question. See, it's possible to send emails or like messages where we have some sort of interaction in our automations to send the humans submission, maybe AI generated, in this case, AI generated image, Facebook. View it, prove it, reject it. This example I've got uh, that generated some Olympic medals, proposed Olympic medals for the 2032 Olympics here in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, and it sent me an email, received the email, and that is now in my ClickUp. So that's uh, just a database, Notion database, that's the place to store the image to show where it is below. Um, so here it is, it's been sent for approval. And if I was to click object, it must be a bit of a fan of circular. Then it uh, switches to reject or from the bottom. That looks interesting to you then. Quick walkthrough of what I've built. Scratch so you know it all yourselves. The first part is the production of the image myself. Here I've just got a prompt that could be Slack or wherever it is that you wish to put a prompt, Telegram bot, been received from an email. Send. Or just uh, might have been bulk, might have been from Google Spread. Send that off to uh, AI, testing an image. And from there, we have the image returned. And to put it into our CRM, click up the two step process. First, we create the record into the list that we wish to put in. Title, whatever the original status is to show that it's being sent. Uh, process to get. For ClickUp, we then need to upload the attachment separately. Um, I would rather keep it on record as opposed to assume that the URL of an AI will be available forever. I can't trust that, so I will store it in my CRM. Um, then uh, this is just me documenting URLs, but we'll that. Then we send the email. Uh, this email I had entirely designed with Claude. Conversation, building out an email. Uh, let's copy and paste it in. I popped in the, uh, the URL of the image that came out of ClickUp. Also attached the image into. And then the magic apps. Interested then is how do we get the accept and reject button to work? And the magic using make.com webhooks. These are actually webhooks that. When we clicked on the link, it actually went to a webhook, passed in some information, so we clicked the get button, and it was for this particular task ID. Um, and then uh, this is the second half. It receives this, uh, whichever button you click, um, and then uh, updates the uh, updates it to be either approved or updates it to be set task to reject. But that's all in the future. Let's build this from scratch. You can see from now the approved flow could start something else. The rejected flow could start another process. You've got that whole thing here and make it. It's really easy. If you're not a programmer, this is totally something you can do. Sending an image for one. Get that in the screen. Let's start. Let's 
give this a title, generate image. So step one will be, uh, let's, we, we can go straight to using OpenAI. AI in the previous example, it's a very, really comes down to where is that? Start free, one for you. So maybe another thing other than OpenAI that uh, you would, it's all videos or wherever that. Or, uh, a32, Brisbane, Olympic, venues. Advanced option with a square image. Or do you want? Now, uh, so you can get it to return a URL or an image file. I've decided that I'll be storing mine in ClickUp so I've got it forever. So I'll just take the image file. Okie dokie. Um, next thing we want to do is to store it in Clickup uh, or whatever storage place. Let's create a real same. Hey, what what we'll do is we'll go over. Uh, let's just recreate this. Another one. Tutorial image approval. See how we. Um, now, one of the choices to make when you're making this is what is the series of statuses uh, that you wish to uh, to use. You can go over here list settings. Statuses. Under status template. Are some default flows that you might use for your tasks. New ones, we want to add content. I don't need all of these for this example, but we'll use ready, approved, and rejected. Change this to sent. Green, by purple is the voice there. Let's not be red. Red and whatever your flow is. Uh, so this will put into the task name that prompt. Uh, in the due date for the month. Already. Would like is to store that image, uh, which the uh, click up is called a file. Store that image. Lovely. Um, so all we need to do is attach that image and it will be available. Good. Now let's uh, refresh this. See that we have a new one. Task name, let's just pass through. Ah, uh, I hope I remember why I. Set variable. Image prompt. 32 Brisbane Olympic. That's move that to there. This is where the um, scenario starts. Uh, this is currently the scheduled one, so every 15 minutes this would run. Oh, that's not and it would be configured, would have it triggered there. Uh, so now, move that static text and variable. Here, similarly, we'll use that. Prompt. Let's say that. Start again. Tutorial. Yeah. 
use that digital setup. Um, and start time, image will be rename that as create record. Now let's upload the image. Task ID will come from the previous step, and the file will just be what comes out of the generated image. Right, next would be the standard email, but let's see where we're up to so far. Save that and tend not to do this too often. It takes a little bit of time to generate the image. Just an exactly thrilling view. So let's see what it produces. It produces some array data, which we can't see. Created the uh, the task with that name. We uploaded that to URL. So if we take that URL into the there is the image that it produced. Let's go over to ClickUp and see what we've got. See, there's the record that we see. There's our image. And because this is an image, sort of an image based task, if we go to switch over to board, we can get that image to be shown. Go customize board options, task cover, image. That's super nice. Now we can see it there. All right. What we didn't do is we haven't set it or sent. For approval yet, um, we haven't actually sent it. All right, we'll leave that be. Lovely. Let's move on to sending that in. In preparation for sending the email, let us set the uh, status. Sent for approval. Note that uh, approved and rejected, that's the text we'll be using later on. It's basically the name of the case. Uh, here in create a task, we get a nice drop down. Later on, when we want to go and update the status, we don't get a nice drop. Okay, so now the next time we run it, we'll put it into the, uh, the sent for approval bucket. We need to send the email. I'm using Gmail, so that's what I get to use the Gmail. Send and email. Who it gets sent to might be a list that you need to pull down, but we can. Maybe you want to make it inside your email system of the person group you know it's called image approvers first of the group okay. subject image or let's put in the uh, image the content this of course is uh, we, we want some HTML, we want the uh, image URL in there somewhere, we want an approval, approve link button, jet button. These are the things we have. Them. We could also add uh, the image, so it's in the email. Get the I do include the email. Send image for hey, what? Let's uh, let's just try that out. We won't do it. We'll just do it for now. At least it's there. Uh, these are all static. This is not. Do not expect this to work. This is just text that it will uh, include. It's real text. 
Let's send that off. Let's start that again. We'll get ourselves. As for actually generating the email, this is what I did earlier. I said, design an email, HTML, with a fixed width. Find useful in emails rather than some people's reply, some people are on their phone, so let's just give it some sort of fixed width. That's centered, shows a placeholder image. So we have an image, but it's a placeholder image. Below it, buttons, accept, and accept. It gave me something, and then I edited it. I said, it was like that, was down. Also, I cannot see the text. There's something wrong, so I couldn't see it. And I said, oh, let's fix it. And blah, 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 blah. Then it came out with this. Interesting enough, the full URL doesn't work, but um, the rest of it did. So, downloaded that. Opened it in the browser, and that's what I saw. Uh, that's really impressive. Now, uh, HTML in email is a very small and irritating subset of real HTML. You just can't do everything. If you've got a web designer, you can't just ask them to design. Fortunately, browsers have moved forward every year, email programs. So we are limited somewhat, but this looks good and we're confident as to this. this simple uh, layout will work for us. So therefore, I will now also copy that into my clipboard. There's a little contents button down the bottom. We will come over to our scenario. Paste that in. So we go. Let's see if we got that email. Got image for approval Brisbane link. There's that static text. There's the image attached nicely to our email. Okay. So that looks really nice. Um, I, I think this is optional and there's no point filling up people's emails with uh, two megabyte images when instead we could. Background scenario. We have that, that HTML that uh, it's kind of hard to read, I, I totally understand. But see where it says image source? That's the image itself. So what we want to do is replace this with the image that we uploaded. Um, and let's get the large one. Let's get the full one, a little bit full one. Uh, remember, we, we got the image as a file from OpenAI, uploaded it to GitHub, which converted it into a URL. So this is a, a URL coming from a ClickUp account, and as long as we're a ClickUp account, this thing, the URL will keep working. The next thing we need is the links to accept and reject. That is next. Let's come back shortly. Let's just see if our email looks good. Save and run this. Wait ever so long for our image to. We should expect two things to have changed. One, uh, when we create the record, it should go into that sent for approval. When we send the email, it should look better. That was the last email we received. This is the new email we received. And look at that. How awesome. I mean, this is great. This will work just perfectly. Um, we've got an accept and reject. Of course, once you've seen how this works, you can add as many buttons as you like to do the different things you want to do. Um, you can see now this attachment is not being used here. And so uh, you're just sort of getting both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the email, drop off the attachment necessary for my case. Okay. So we've now got the first half. We're sending, we're generating the image, and we're sending it. Excellent. Now, the part perhaps that's the most interesting for this video is how are we going to make those buttons work? Recreate this. Step two email webhook for 
So let's play ourselves a webhook on a custom. Even though we're doing email things, this is not a mail hook. A mail hook is a way to send or forward emails to make.com that you can receive and process. We're not doing that. We are we want a URL act as the custom record. I will tutorial image approval. This address is the address that we'll give to the other step. Receive email. Start that running. Now that's um, doing more and don't do that URL I put in the clipboard, put it in the browser, that's enter. It says accepted. If we come back here, you'll see that we received it and it has nothing. Okay, that's fine. Let's run that one more time. Now, if we go back to this URL and press uh, add a question mark, at this point, we can now add parameters. So we might say the task ID was something, that was for the uh, click up the task ID. And we might say that the status equals approved. Hello world. We can add as many of these as we want. P equals value and B equals value and Q. Press enter, run again, and there we can see our key value, P value. So we've learned all we need to do is design what it is we wish to pass through and put those as the links. We will have an approved and we'll have a I like to see the titles turn up. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, it clashes with that's not this is so slow. Okie dokie. So now let's go down and put those URLs in here. Where are these URLs? And you can sort of look for the word accept and the word reject and the surrounding A tag. It's around both of them. It's, that's the link. So even though it looks like a button, and where it says href, this is the part we're going to change. I'm going to paste in that link that I'm working with. Uh, it said approved. It doesn't matter. It's, it's status. And then the task ID we need to pass through so that when we receive the Response, we can go and find that task again. Yeah. We'll copy and paste this into the next one. Check. Okay. So the next time we send an email, the two buttons will go to a link that looks like this. We'll have the task ID accepted or rejected. And when you click on them, they'll come back into here. So this means that we can now do something. When we do something, make a choice, we can use the router. And we will either click up, edit the task, we'll either need to buy it. Let's start that. Run that. Okay, just so I can get the fields again. Don't need that. So now we're going to edit the task. Task ID will be passed through from the first scenario. It will be stored in the email link so that we can find the task again. And, and for us, all we're going to do is to set the status. Uh, based on whether it was accepted or approved. Now, I made up approved and accepted. What we really need to know is what we call them here. But they need to be the lowercase for approved and rejected. Approved, status there. 
That's it. Click up, edits. Task ID being passed through the webhook. Status rejected. Which it could also be the same value here. We could pass that all the way through. Um, rename set task to rejected. Okay, so let's start running that, ending, waiting for that email to be received. Okay. And uh, send the email. And I'll tell you, actually, I can, we can do one step first. Well, let's go and find one of these that we sent. Sent this one here. Let's find its task ID. We can find the task ID manually up here in the left corner. Click on that. So now uh, I could manually edit this. I can paste that task ID there. I can get rid of those bits. And this is essentially the link that would be the approved button. And it went through here. You can see that the one there goes through the router. And actually, it actually did both. It did both. Maybe take that. It did both. It both approved it and then rejected it. So if we go and find, see that it's in the rejected bucket, even though we approved it. What happened there? What happened there is uh, the way routers work is it will do everything that comes off the router. It will go through, it will do everything off the first one, everything off the second one, and then everything off the third one. Unless we add filter. Let's add filter. Approved. This might feel somewhat some redundancy happening here, but that's approved. So now it will start here, but only if the status is approved. Then it will do the second one only if the status is false. Or what we could do here is we can do as a fallback. Fallback route is a backup route used. It didn't go through any other route. So we could do this. We could say if it wasn't approved, it's rejected. Or if any other URL comes through, we can say it's rejected. It might be a terrible idea and you might not want to do this, but it's interesting. Okay, let's run that one more time. Let's run our uh, click on our link, so to speak. And now it does not go to the rejected, only went to the approved. Set the status to approved. And over here, see it's now approved. See that it's over here. All right, let's delete everything we've done so far. Let's see what's coming. Let's turn that schedule on. So this is now running in the background. Um, if we ever send out any emails, we'll do the first scenario, second scenario is ready to catch. This one, we need to run manually. Let's run this one. See what our uh, email previous. So we can see it come through. Uploaded it, it's now sent the email. We can see that we've received an email, exciting times. Pause is as uh, my machine downloads that image. That looks pretty awesome. I'll be honest, what I'm most excited about is these unnecessary polls that we've put in the Brisbane River. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, uh, as someone who lives in Brisbane, this is pretty exciting because this is the Brisbane River. This would be South Bank. Mount Cutha, you know, arguably, I mean, it's a bit, bit of a nebulous background. That's the CBD. A uh, bit worried about what they've done to the QUT at university campus in order to put a stadium. But uh, nonetheless, there's a lot to like um, about this idea. So let's accept it. And uh, we can click that email. We come over here, we can see that uh, this was the since we activated the scenario, we've received one webhook. It ran through, and uh, you can see this is the most recent one. We can also click on it to also look at the values that went through. But more importantly, see that we approved it. So you've now got a, just in summary, you've now got a system for uh, sending emails with buttons in them 
approve, rejected, edit, whatever it is, or go to the, uh, the click up link to do sort of manual. And so I think this is, uh, you can just imagine all the different ways you might, whether it's images, or draft, posts for social media or for work proposals, anything. Whether it's send an email, here's the contents, you review it, approve or reject. So yeah, I appreciate watching. If you've enjoyed, thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. There's, uh, this is just the one of me that we're coming out with. I look forward to seeing you.